I'm going to show you all the angles and all the views that the photos in the brochure and on the website don't show you. I'll show you the front panel first. Um, you've got the left speaker here and moving across you've got the panel with all the function buttons on and the screen. USB port here is actually sunken down into the panel, which is really useful because it means that it's not going to get in your way while you're changing the buttons and playing. Little thing goes a long way. Moving along, you've got all of the buttons here neatly laid out. Doesn't look cluttered at all. Um, the nice thing about these buttons over here, they light up blue, um, which is really handy. If you're playing, gigging in a, a dark venue with not much light, say if you're getting a torch on your head, you can actually see the buttons you're pressing. A little thing, but it, it does make all the difference. And the buttons themselves, they actually feel really nice. They don't feel cheap, they feel really good, really durable. Um, and the screen, albeit small, it's very, you know, bright and, and, and it's easy to see, it's well lit. I don't think you'd struggle if you were playing, again, in a dark venue. It's very clear to look at when you're scrolling through sounds. Now, I'm sure you noticed this wood effect on this panel here, and I love it. I think it looks really, really nice and slick. Um, and it gives it a bit of an edge. You don't really see that nowadays in, in stage pianos. Um, but I think design is a really important thing because uh, you've got to look good as well as sound good, obviously. Get the Yamaha logo there. It's a nice wood effect. It looks really, really classy. Um, and moving down to the keys, you'll actually see, especially on the black keys, the texture of these keys. And the white and the black keys, they are synthetic ivory and ebony keys, emulating that of a, a traditional piano. Um, and then when I touch the white keys, you'll see they are actually wooden keys, which again adds to the realism. It makes all the difference, I think. And then moving down, you've got the front panel here. And you've got two headphone sockets there, so if you're duetting and you don't want to uh, disturb the neighbours, you can plug two pairs of headphones in there. Um, and this front panel here is plastic, but it feels really, really sturdy. So if you're if you are gigging with it, or if you plan to gig with it, if it gets a couple of knocks, it's not going to affect it too much. I think it could take some, some banging if it needs to, um, which is what you want from a stage piano. It's, it's going to be moved about a lot. It's inevitable that it might get um, hit a little bit by moving and things. Um, but it looks to me, sounds to me, feels to me like it would uh, certainly hold up if it did get knocked about slightly in the back of a car or something. Um, and it looks good as well from the front. Very simple design, really nice. I've got it on a, a double X stand at the moment. Moving round to the side, you'll see a polished um, panel here, shiny panel. They're on both sides, both the, the left and the right side. Um, it sort of echoes the, 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 the higher end sort of Clavanovas, um, the polished finish in particular. Um, it is plastic, but it, I think it looks really, really nice. Again, another design thing from Yamaha. I think they've really thought about this and it looks really good. And as an audience member, looking at it from here, you'd be impressed. I think it looks brilliant. It looks really, really cool. Um, and I'll move across actually to the back now so you can see the back. Now the back, you've got the Yamaha logo, of course, on the left-hand side. And then you've got all of these outputs and inputs here. So this first one is auxiliary in, and then you've got the stereo outputs here, R and then L, to L and R. USB to host, you'd use that if you wanted to plug it into a computer and use this as a controller. And then you've got MIDI in and out as well, and the auxiliary pedal if you've got a sustain pedal that you want to use, or if you do decide to go for the triple pedal unit for the P515, that'd go in there. And then you've got the 16 volt power adapter slot there. Just looking underneath here, not much going on underneath. Very simple. Over this side you'll have a tag there with all the uh, serial number and details on here. But that is it. It looks great. It sounds brilliant. We have got some other videos on it if you want to hear it in its in action. But ultimately, it's done it looks really good there's the other polished side to it but i'm really impressed with the p515 i think it looks really great 
If you have any more questions, just comment below or get in touch, give us a call or drop us an email, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.